February, KXLY4 is helping you lead a happy, heart-healthy life. Heart disease is the number one cause of death in women, and just because you're younger, maybe in your 30s or 40s, doesn't mean you're in the clear when it comes to having a heart attack. Now, one Spokane mom learned that lesson the hard way. She sat down with our Taylor Graham for a story you'll see only on Good Morning Northwest. Things had gone differently seven years ago. This little guy, Soren, might not be here. And his sister, Sayla, might have had to grow up without her mom, Julie. And I said, I'm pretty sure I'm not having a heart attack because I'm only 37, so I'm probably not having a heart attack, but that's really what it feels like. When Julie went to the ER seven years ago, she was diagnosed with bacterial pneumonia. The pain was um, here and then went to uh, my back and my neck and then my right to these two fingers. I, and I said, I think that's why. I... But they said, oh, it would be on your left side. Oh, okay. She was given some medication and went on with her life. Just a week later, though, the pain struck again. Another trip to the ER and a cardiologist confirmed Julie had suffered two heart attacks in a week at 37 years old. They followed protocol. I, you know, I, I believe both times, but I think the protocol probably is the problem. That uncertainty led her to Dr. Amy Donine at the Heart Attack and Stroke Prevention Center in Spokane. I mean, her story is sadly not as unique as what I'd like it to be. Dr. Donine found Julie had a condition which elevated levels of a protein which causes vascular inflammation and triples heart attack risk, which women of all ages need to watch out for. When she was asked, do you have a family history in your parents of heart disease? When Julie had her heart attack, her parents were only in their mid 50s. So oftentimes the, the manifestation of heart disease hasn't even hit. The whole experience taught Julie a valuable lesson she's sure to pass on to her children. We need to guard our heart. It's where everything flows from. In Spokane, Taylor Graham, KXLY4 News.